Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs using Canva for platforms such as Merch by Amazon, Etsy, Amazon Seller Central, eBay, Redbubble, and many more. So if that's something that you're interested in, please stick around. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over this design right here. This is a kind of traditional sugar skull with a mandala, and it is simply black on white. And the way I would go ahead and market something like this would be sort of like a coloring book. So the same way that you could sell this design on a coloring book page if you do KDP, you could also put it on a t-shirt or a poster and try to sell it as something that you could color um, for party or for anything else. And so you could go ahead and make sort of coloring book t-shirt designs as well. And so uh, this is just one example. If you would like to learn how to do this, go ahead and stick around. All right, so uh, for today's video, we're gonna do another shirt design. Um, so I am designing on 4,500 by 5,400. And for today's design, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and leave the background white for now, because we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be doing a sugar skull design uh, with a mandala, and I'm gonna leave it all black and white. And, and it's gonna be kind of interesting, but I'm gonna use it sort of like a coloring book t-shirt. So if you've done any KDP um, and you've created any coloring book designs uh, for that, you can use some of those designs and try putting them on t-shirts and marketing them as kind of coloring book t-shirts or, or t-shirts that somebody could paint or use marker on to color. It'd be good things for birthday parties or any kind of party as like a, a favor or something that people could do. Uh, you could do it for little kids parties. Um, obviously things like designing onesies or designing bibs are really popular for um, baby showers. And so there's just lots of different ways that you can look at creating products. Um, so for this one, I'm going to hopefully make this, this, uh, this video really quick. I just wanted to kind of point out the different ways that you can take this. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with mandala. And so you can see there's a, a zillion of them in here, so many that you can go with. Um, and I can just go ahead and filter for graphics. It really doesn't matter. And I can pick any that I like, anything that looks really cool. I'm gonna make it big. I'm gonna make it take up the entire page, but I don't necessarily have to. And maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just make it so that I can see all the edges because I'm putting it on a shirt instead of a book. So maybe something, something like that. So I've got my cool mandala. It's got a lot of different things that you could potentially color if you wanted to. And then maybe now I'm just gonna go ahead and look for sugar skull. Okay, so now there's a whole bunch of different sugar skulls you can do. Again, I'm looking for something that's just black and white, so I'm not looking for something like this. If I put that on there, nobody can really color it and it kind of defeats the purpose of what I'm going for for this design. Um, caveat though, some of these ones here that look really good, if you put them on, you'll totally lose it. So you'll see it'll just kind of go through and now you can't see it at all. So what I'm looking for is a solid one, but it's solid where the back is white and the uh, it's got the black lines through it. So there are a few of them on here that I found and I'll see if I can find one to show you. I mean, this is not the best example, but it, it will kind of show you that you can do that. So there, something that's solid, you won't be able to see the mandala through it. And so that's one way that you can go with that. And so that's kind of what I'm looking for, or at least something where I can select the colors and then I can just select the color as white. And that's also a good one. So anything where you see white or it looks solid, but you can select the color would be one way to go. And again, you don't have to do this with sugar skulls. Sugar skulls are just really cool for coloring because they're so, um, detailed so just like the mandalas they offer a lot of different ways to go with coloring so here's another example of one that's again just black and white that I could put over the top and you know have people color on it there were some really cool ones in here that I liked so here's one I do like there you go this is one that looks like it goes well with the mandala there's a lot of different areas for you to color I can select just um, black lining and just the white background. 
And so something like that would look really cool. I can make it as big or as little as I want. So maybe I want a little bit more of the mandala to show through. I can go ahead and bring this in a little bit smaller like that. I can even make it really small if I want to and kind of have it go right in the center there. And so something like that might look good on a t-shirt and you just kind of market it as, um, this could be like a for a Dia de los Muertos party. Um, and you could have everybody at the party kind of color in their own t-shirt. And so that is another way that you could go with this. And again, you can do it for anything you like, any theme that you like, but this is just the basic idea of how you would go about doing this. And then you put it on a shirt and you market it however you want. Here's another one that's kind of white. And again, you know, you can go ahead, look through. It's always good to know what's available to you. So if you haven't spent a lot of time on Canva looking through different categories and looking to see what's available, you're kind of missing out. So definitely spend your time um, kind of seeing what's out there and seeing what it is you can and can't work with. Whoops, ignore that. Um, that one's kind of cool. <laughs> see, I wouldn't have even known that was there. I had never seen that one before. That one's interesting. Um, so yeah, just definitely Think outside the box, try to be creative, try to come up with some of your own things. Don't be afraid to take some ideas that maybe apply to one category and see if you can apply them to another. Obviously, this kind of thing is done a lot when we're working with coloring books. So if you're doing any Kindle Direct publishing with Amazon, you know, that would make a great coloring book page right there. And it's the same type of idea that you would use for a coloring book page. But I'm saying, hey, why not put it on a t-shirt and have them color it? Why not put it on a poster and maybe they could color the poster in? You can make a really big coloring book page for a child and, and market it as a kid's poster to color. Um, so you don't have to limit this to just a coloring book. Um, so again, think outside the box, try to get some sales in creative and new ways so that you can kind of stay ahead of the game. It is a, you know, obviously this is a competitive industry, so you, you you want to make sales, you got to kind of stay ahead of the game. Anyways, I hope you found this useful. I hope it gave you some good creative ideas and that you're brainstorming right now and can come up with some good ways to utilize um, some of these techniques, okay? So uh, have a great day and I hope to see you again. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.